Hey, 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 y'all. What's going on? It's your girl, Tracy Shay, coming to you from Black Bird Fly with a message from Spirit today. So, if I meditate on what the word for the collective was today, I was directed to Daniel chapter 6, starting at uh, 22. And it says, My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouth of the lions. They have not heard me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, O King. God is about to bless you, okay? You're about to be lifted up out the lion den with no wounds found on you because you trusted in God. 4-4, four, four. you may be seeing that angel number or 11-11. I want to give thanks to God, source in the universe, for using me as a vessel, using me as an instrument, using me as a channel to bring forth this message. None of me and all of you, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, I allow myself to decrease while you increase. You may be seeing green or red um, orbs, or you may need to work um, with your heart chakra or root chakra, or you may have been recently working with those. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. What do you have for the collective today in regards to them being found innocent in your eyes? I'm going to start with my um, deck of cards that I'm working on. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, what do you have for the collector? What do they need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, what do you have for the collector? What do they have, need to know about coming about this lion den, about them being found innocent, about no wounds being on them? What do you have for the collector on today? Make sure you take your breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in, you know, Peace, breathing in prosperity, breathing in um, love, breathing in abundance, breathing in joy, breathing in favor, bringing in gratitude, and then releasing everything else, anxiety, fear, lack, mindset, old habits, um, yeah, anything that's blocking you from receiving your blessing. Okay. All right, so I'm getting pulled from the bottom. <laughs> breakthrough of blessings breakthrough of blessings coming your way okay get split in the middle get the right bottom get the left top positive change is on the horizon brighter days are coming Daniel was stuck in that lion's den right but he believed in God and he trusted in God and he knew that positive change would come on the horizon. He knew that God was not going to leave him. He knew that there was going to be brighter days coming. You're going to receive these brighter days. You're going to receive this breakthrough of blessings. You're going to receive peace of mind, high vibes, sunshine, and good times, okay? Favor wherever you go. Doors are just opening for you. Um, you're getting um, offers uh, in your career to... Um, speak to perform to um, raises and bonuses increase favor all around you whatever you do will prosper as you continue to shine your light uh, as you continue to operate with divine um, you may be a fire sign aries leo or sag okay or you just have a lot of passion right now for um your goals and, and your calling and your assignment that God has placed you on. You are the truth seeker, okay? It's time for you to go within. Everything you need is already inside of you, okay? You are a powerful manifester, all right? You're manifesting things at the speed of light during this time. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Middle. Right. You are a superstar full of greatness. You have the it factor. There's something about you, your aura, your your uh your fragrance. You just are beautiful. You radiate. You 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 have this passion, this fire that burns inside of you, that burns around you, and 
And even like um, the story with the burning bush, like you're gonna be un untouched. Like you're the phoenix rising from the ashes with no with no with no burn mark, with no with no smoke. You know, you just rise, you soar. Okay, you may be an earth sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Anything else from here, Father? Increase in cash flow. Money comes easily and effortlessly. Yes. Ching, ching, ching goes to money tree. You know, every time it changes, money comes to me. Five, three, three. Okay. Magnetic attraction, limelight, center of stage. Wow. Like, you are really, 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 really about to have a 555 five, five unexpected change for the better coming your way. And it's not just in your finances. It's in, it's in all areas, okay? Spiritually, um, emotionally, physically, tangibly, um, financially. Your heart, you, you've connected to your roots, connected to your origins, connected to your ancestors. You've been obedient. You're listening. You know who you are. You carry these powers, these gifts, these talents inside of you that is about to bring you into the limelight, center stage. You in you just being this God, this God is full of this gold, white light energy that surrounds you. Is a magnetic attraction. Everybody, that's why people be looking at you. That's why you're getting so many suitors, so many offers, so many people wanting to connect to you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, lots of opportunities are coming your way. You are a star. You are full of greatness. Okay. It's just something about you. You can't nobody deny it. Like, that's why it's all eyes on you, okay? Whatever you do will prosper, okay? You're growing stronger in your faith. You're growing stronger in your relationship with God. You're uh, removing and leaving behind those addictions, those distractions, those things that don't, um, those habits that don't align with where you're going. So you're going to get a message from the uh, wise women. What do you have, wise women, for the collective? Wise women. Anything else? Yeah, I see this. Anything else? Last one. And it all, all of this, all this is coming for you. This, this, uh, um, these blessings, um, this cash flow, these offers. You've been in the limelight, um, having the impact. It is positive change. This breakthrough of blessings. All of this is coming for you because you finally melted the mass. Eight two two. One, one, two, three. You finally went within. You finally allowed your natural state of true awareness, infinite awareness. Um, and you allowed yourself to release the things that didn't serve you, the people that didn't serve you, the mindsets, all of the stuff that didn't serve you. So you can come into who it is you truly are as a God, as a God, as a king, as a queen, as being in the kingdom citizenship, okay? And you are allowing your spirit self to shine through the many roles that you fulfill. Eight, five, eight. Okay. Um, responsibility is a gift of love to yourself and others. Okay. You started to take accountability for your actions. Nine one one. You started to um, go within. And um. See through the, the smoke and mirror. See through the illusion. See through your own um, interference that, that you were bringing forth that was blocking you from receiving these blessings, okay? Whether it was your mindset, whether it was, um, you know, things that had lingered in, in your mind and in your, in your actions due from childhood experiences or those seeds that were sown in, into you, you know? <clears throat> 
but you're no longer um, allowing people to have power over you. You have taken your power back. You have called your energy back to you. Okay, you may be seeing foxes. You may be seeing feathers. You may be seeing um, like different colored orbs. Um, but now you realize that the trickster's only power is your trust. You are always free to withdraw it. And that's what you did. You withdrew your energy from these environments, from these people, um, which allows you to go within, get the truth, um, and then be able to manifest what you really want. Okay? Knowing that together you can transcend your individual limitations okay so you're 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 calling in your soul tribe your um soul family at this time and, and they're going to come in and they're going to be supportive you're calling in genuine connections during this time okay so it is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive receive it okay closed mouths don't get fed okay you act you have not because you ask not go within talk to the holy spirit get that confirmation of what it is that you really want you know and and ask for it okay the power is inside of you you are manifesting things at the speed of light or you asking for the things that you really want in life okay be who you are as you are okay Show your spirit self. This is a time of renewal, okay? Regeneration begins with decay. So, again, you have to die. The old you have to die, okay? To be resurrected, okay? All, all the past things that happened in your life, um, you now see why it had to happen, okay? And you know now that there is peace, equilibrium, and fulfillment and integrating the inner wild with the taming and temporary effect life has on us, okay? So again, you were able to tame the inner wild and the temporary effect life has on us, okay? So throughout everything that has happened to you, you have integrated that and been molded into this person, knowing that those weaknesses was really your strength, that those tests really brought forth this testimony, and that nothing has gone wrong. It only allowed you to evolve. It only allowed you to gain insight. It only allowed you to learn lessons. It only allowed you to see the blessings in disguise. It only allows you to age gracefully, to age in maturity, to age spiritually, okay? Be upgraded. Intimate love is a core need to be met in relation to ourselves and those closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. And I feel like you all have to do that. You have had um, many uh, relationships that were not platonic or romantic that were not um, favorable for you, you know. You could have had to give out a lot and not really receive or you know you you um always felt alone even if you were in a relationship you felt like this isn't a home you know i really don't feel safe i don't feel loved like why am i here or you could have dealt with a lot of manipulators a lot of gaslighters some abusive toxic environments okay but then you started loving yourself okay you started um seeing the the flaws that you have because it starts with you okay you can't receive anything from anybody else unless you have that inside of you because you're going to attract who you are okay or um the spirit other spirits would be drawn to you uh, because of who you are so you just need to have that discernment and have those boundaries and i feel like you you have put up those boundaries now you're you're seeing past the illusions just having discernment on fake and false people um you're allowing your true spirit to shine through okay um calling on the holy spirit your spirit team god to help you um when you need to take an accountability for your actions and um, seeing that clarity begins in the eye of the storm. In order for you to get this clarity you have now, you had to go through the storm, okay? You had to get down on your knees and pray to God, okay? 
it was a lot of people coming up against you coming up against your promises lying on you hating on you okay but god has found you innocent okay So the any and beginning lie at either side of the same door and it was an ending and now you are entering into this new beginning okay now you are this beautiful butterfly okay and you know the power that you have okay solar plexus energy you may need to work with solar plexus uh just to gain that that more insight that more clarity that more confidence okay you are perceived the way you perceive yourself again like i was saying you have been honoring your beauty radical self-acceptance some of you um all may be cancer survivors um but again you have put down the shield of fear picked up the shield of faith and you know that you are beautiful you know that you are royalty you know that you deserve nothing but the best you know that you deserve a luxurious lifestyle you know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper you know that god is with you so it doesn't matter who comes up against you you know if god hire you he's gonna fire you like my the high priestess says on my got the t youtube channel okay and you know um how you want to be seen now and you know that you're not gonna take anything less you're no longer settling in any aspects of your life okay hallway is absent in the presence of your lord of your love so you had to release some things some things had to be um pruned purged removed um you may even have lost some loved ones recently but know that um even within that absence you can you can hold on to those good memories and just um instead of living in what's the word in sadness and grief find the joy of the experiences okay and hell hold that in your heart space okay release your acimo energy into the world okay so again with with death comes birth because this lady is looks like she's grieving over loved ones who she's lost and then this lady is birthing something beautiful birthing a new start okay bringing something new into the world so when you lose something it's only for you to gain something okay the circle of life but yeah your creative powers are very active at this time um and it's time for you to create it's time for you to cultivate your garden cultivate this world um color your canvas the way you see it's time for you to move in your anointing okay so i'm going to get a message from the chosen ones 144 or connect by my g the high priestess You have all you need. You have to give the courage, okay? So you did go through the dark night of soul. You had to purge these things, okay? Um, um, however, your ancient Egyptian ancestors are coming through at this time. They're guiding you. They're speaking to you. They are also speaking to you about this twin flame mission that you have. Um, a lot of this, this, this awakening happened on this twin flame mission journey okay and you had to go through this purge you had to see what love was not you had to um start loving yourself you had to go through this renewal okay you had to know um who you are which is god's ambassador okay and you had to really um get intimate with yourself and not um 
and set those boundaries and have that discerning spirit not allowing people to just walk out over you or use you or take you for granted but really have the courage to walk away from things that didn't serve you allow those towers to to to, to crumble okay allow things to just fall away fall apart when needed to okay and this train of flame mission um it, if you all are in separation you, you weren't ready at the time you guys came into um into connection with each other originally you two were were not ready for each other however i am feeling that you guys are ready to embrace this trampoline mission now because you have definitely been doing the work uh from the inside out and it's showing okay your dreams are coming true okay so the people who came up against you are going to remit, regret messing with the chosen one. You are a shaman. You have shaman ancestors. You have shaman power inside of you. You can speak to the other side. You have connection with all of the cosmos, okay? You, you bring people into the afterlife, okay? You are royalty and you are highly ranked in the spiritual world. Again, you are a light worker, okay? You in your twin flame um have these missions together to bring forth this light into the world okay so the enemies try to block you try to stop you but through your psychic powers your clairvoyant um access divine protection and intervention um you, you, nothing can touch you nothing can stop you again daniel came out of the lion's den no wound was found on him because he trusted in God. Continue trusting in God, okay? And everything that you need is coming. It's coming. Work with crystals to cleanse your energy, to stay grounded. Uh, sleep with them. Put them in your body, under your pillow to get more insight, to get more clarity, to get more downloads. You are Earth Angel. You are a healer. And you were born to be a legend, okay? You have Lemurian blood inside of you. And there's no denying this abundance, okay? Not only are you a miracle, miracle is on the way to you. So, again, there were psychic attacks against this twin flame mission. Psychic attacks against you receiving these blessings, this over flow but that delay does not mean denial okay you are the generation of curse curse breaker you are, are an empath you are a healer and you have ancient divine blood and your third eye is awakening to this truth so know that everything you do will be successful okay this is your rebirth you are a star seed you don't belong to this world you're not of this world okay you are not human you're having a human experience but you you, you you you're different okay you're different um so again you had to face a lot of trauma as a black sheep but so you spent a lot of time alone in hermit mode um so you could see through this spell work and now the truth has been revealed to you about this setup okay Again, Daniel was set up to be thrown in this lion's den, okay? You were set up to be thrown in your lion's den, but God found you innocent, okay? And you about to receive all these blessings in the face of these people who tried to stop you and block you. So I'm going to conclude with one um, uh, tarot card to sum all of this up and see what's going on. What do you have, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, for the collective in regards to this? Oof. Eight of Swords. Eight. Um, a number of abundance. A number of abundance. All right. So, the Eight of Swords. The Lord of Interference is the card that comes up to indicate deliberate or accidental interference with the natural flow of energy. Did I just say you were set up, sought after, because people have seen your power and they wanted to stop it and block it. But touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. You are God's ambassador. You are a healer. You are an earth angel. You are a psychic. You are a medium. You will act out of the prophetic you are um acting divination okay um so again it was trying to block the natural flow of energy <laughs> it was trying to block it but 
it's, it's they can't stop it okay it often signals problems with endurance and inability to make decisions lack of concentration on important details and overall disturbance yeah that's what that's what they try to come up against all of these things your endurance you making decision your concentration on um, your money flow overall disturbance trying to block your blessings trying to keep you in the dark trying to keep you stagnant trying to keep you stuck but no more okay god has found you innocent you're reaping your rewards you're reaping your harvest okay um nothing is going to hurt you okay yeah and all your enemies who came for you they're going to be thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children okay because when you come after somebody else when you send spell work when you send lies when you project that energy when you try to disturb their life when you try to disturb the natural flow of energy you're not coming against really that person you're coming against god okay and in the anointing and assignment he has placed on that person and so do you think the vengeance of the lord is going to be okay with you coming with the, coming for his child and you are highly mistaken it's not going to go down okay so let me get one more she did what i said or what i'm gonna let me get it okay <laughs> queen of pentacles baby queen of pentacles yeah you about to receive everything everything sitting pretty on your throne sitting handsome on your throne okay fierce okay nurturer but a practical and down-to-earth one always there to help in a material or tangible way again you're receiving more than enough to be able to give back to the world everything that was taken from you that was stolen from you you're receiving it back you're calling back your energy you're calling back what belongs to you okay she encourages and promotes positive alteration of creativity she also has a serious and introverted side however again so you just you your, your yin yang divine masculine divine feminine energy is in balance your chakras are in balance during this time okay you are at a time of positive flow all these people all this chaos all these people who try to come up against you with this eight of swords try to block your abundance with the number eight it only it only led you to grow to integrate to to go within to find yourself to know yourself to love yourself to heal yourself to, to be bold in your truth okay as a truth seeker to be bold um and use your creative gifts your creative power to be bold in um in your in your trusting in, of god okay and now <laughs> it's time for you to be bold in showing off everything that god's gonna bless you with okay and it's not that you're showing off to boast but you're showing off because god blesses bless you with these things and god wants other people to witness because they were there to witness all the chaos so now they're going to be there to witness all this success okay all this abundance victory is yours okay the trumpet is sounding okay your third eye is awakening all right you are loving yourself no more mass okay you don't have to hide you don't have to pretend you don't have to fake the phone for nobody you're just being who you are you're allowing your light to shine allowing your spirit to to shine and it's because you went you went inside okay you went inside and you got activated you allowed for this regeneration to take place you you decided to lean out on your own understanding but trust in god god shows you by you emptying yourself god is filling you up with his light, with his mindset with his um with access to his kingdom okay with the fruits of the spirit okay because you are the star seed and you are gifted you are talented okay so whatever you need for continue to go within and ask the holy spirit to help you and he will not leave you alone okay you have a strong powerful support system um as far as your ancestors the animal kingdom the guardian angels the archangels you know um you're, you're just highly protected okay so protected okay and this is your breakthrough of blessings 
period 29 29 11 44 i love you family know that this, this positive change is on the horizon brighter days are coming for you okay and this is your birthright you deserve this you are innocent you are loved and people you know they're trying to come for you and it's okay it's okay because god comforts you all right and god is your best friend your father the provider your healer everything okay and you know that you have a great connection with god and god is about to do a great thing for you so i love you family have a great day peace love and harmony um like comment share if this resonates with you if not then just leave it okay um and know that i pray for you you pray for me I love you, I need you to survive I won't harm you with words from my mouth I love you, I need you to survive It is his will that every need be supplied You are important to me I need you to survive So, put in the comments, drop down below Whatever I do will prosper. I am lifted from the lion's den with no wounds found on me because I have trusted in God and been found innocent. I am being lifted out of the lion's den with no wounds found on me because I have trusted in God and been found innocent. Period. 3131. Bye, family. Mwah.